Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel and today I just want to share uh, the latest uh, software update which just came through last night. Uh, the latest software version is 2021 4.18.10 uh, and I was driving last night home and I saw the software update notification so I was pretty excited as soon as I reached home I connected to my home Wi-Fi and started downloading it. Uh, when I downloaded the update I realized that it just says that minor bug fixes and uh, there was in release note there was no other detail except uh, the uh, minor bug, bug fix and the emergency lane departure avoidance uh, enabled so uh, this is the 2021 tesla model 3 uh, where uh, they don't have a radar so they when they launched this car they uh, by default switched off the emergency lane departure and if you have the fsd they disable the full summon feature uh, which they have enabled in this uh, update uh, along with the minor fixes there is no other detail but when i was reading through the different reddit posts and online i saw that they have also uh, bumped up the auto steer limit uh, from 75 to 80 which is pretty exciting because i drive on highways every day and 75 is pretty limiting uh, as if, if by accident if you accelerate over 75 the auto steer gets disabled for rest of the journey till the time you uh, make the car on full stop and start it again so that was a little annoying because the speed limit in my area where i live is around 70 miles and uh, so yeah people normally drive uh, between 75 to 80 so uh, it is still i think a little limiting i really would like to go back uh, to uh, where the car can go 90 i normally don't drive that fast but hey why not to have an option uh, rather than just limiting it uh, i have upgraded to tesla from acura i still own my acura it is a 2018 model and i loved that car but tesla has uh, kind of spoiled me i really love the autopilot feature in this car and like obviously all of the things uh, but uh, auto steer autopilot is is awesome and that's what kind of sold me uh, and make me think that i should go full fsd uh, which i will in some time and i will let you know once i will buy that i'm saving some money for that it's an expensive purchase but yeah i will let you know uh, uh, also, I was reading through that on this minor fixes uh, in this update, they have also included something called as an animal detection where the uh, graphics on, on, on the car uh, when you're driving, it shows you like the, in the construction zone, it shows you cones on the side and the garbage trash cans and uh, animation of other cars with people walking around. Uh, now it can show dog and cats too. I don't have any pet to test it, so I might drive to any dog park nearby and see how that works. It's just uh, animation, but you know, when Whenever they add something I really get excited uh, and I want to test it so uh, yeah and uh, right now I'm gonna go out and drive and uh, test the speed limit which has been bumped to 80 miles on autopilot and I will uh, show you that so let me know your thoughts there is nothing major which came in in this except the emergency lane departure avoidance activated and the summon feature activated uh, and the speed limit uh, enhanced to 80 miles um and yeah that's it and let me know your thoughts in the comments below talk to you soon hey guys so as i said uh i am on highway 65 and the latest update uh has enabled the speed limit to go to 80 miles now so it, it can go on autopilot at 80 miles which is pretty sweet because uh here most of the people drive at 75 to 80 so yeah i'm pretty stoked about it that they have bumped up the speed to 80 instead of 75 uh it's not a big jump but still it is decent enough uh and i think in the previous update they also uh, update the camera module inside the cabin and i think that's why it's continuously asking me to uh apply um <laughs> put my hands on the wheel because i'm holding a camera phone on my other hand so yeah uh, it's working pretty fine and there is also an emergency lane avoidance uh, enabled but I'm not gonna test that out for safety reasons there are a lot of vehicles right now on the car uh, on the road right now so yeah uh, it's pretty exciting so let me know your thoughts uh, uh, what do you think and uh, one more thing I think which I missed is uh, I also read somewhere that they've also fixed the sentry mode for some people it was not triggering uh, it happened to me too that in some cases it was triggering some cases it was not triggering uh, so after the update I tried it 
and it's still the same for me uh, but I've also read on a couple of uh, posts that some people are not having that issue anymore so hoping that it will be a universal fix pretty soon for everyone and the sentry mode will start working flawlessly for uh, like it used to do previously because that is I think one of the most important features uh, for safety and if it is not uh, working properly it, it's not nice so yeah let me know your thoughts and comments and we'll talk